Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I feel like I haven't done a video for ages, but I, f I think that's because I haven't done a video like this, um, this type of video. Um, so I thought, sod it, I'm gonna come out and do this video and um, hear your thoughts on it and share how I have found this piece of kit. I'm gonna be sharing what my favorite neck knife is and what I love to use when I'm outdoors and using it as sort of a kitchen knife but also an all-round neck knife and it's just great to carry on me um, whilst I'm outside and whilst I'm doing bushcraft and things like that. So I think it was last year I did do a video similar to this but I did all my bushcraft knives and a lot of people were interested in it and wanted to see some more really wanted to see, hear about neck knives wanted to hear about maintenance um, I have done a sharpening video and obviously that video and I'm going to do the neck knife video today and yeah I hope this helps obviously I can be quite biased because I haven't tried every neck knife out there so I don't know what all of them are like I can only give my opinion on a few that I have used in the past anyway the one I am going to be talking about today is the Castrom Safari that I've got my, around my neck at the minute and yeah this is an awesome neck knife and awesome all-round blade so at the minute this is hanging around my neck by a bit of cord but you can also get the lovely little leather sheath that you can wear on your belt on your hip belt um, so yeah, you can either wear it as a neck knife or just wear it as a standard little knife on your belt. And I love that because it can be diverse and you can mix it up depending on if you want to wear a neck knife or not. So you may be thinking, what is the point of even wearing a neck knife? Why, why wear one? And I think for me personally, it is nice to have something that is quite hands-on so you've got it with you and it's easy to access as it's obviously around your neck because it's just locked in by the kydex sheath it's easily to get out and pull out and use when you've got to do a task so that could be as small as just chopping up a bit of paracord just quickly chopping your vegetables or even processing game also depending on where you are you can have this on you at all times so it's just always there and you can pretty much wear it as like a necklace um, obviously in the UK this would be illegal to wear when you're off private land you're in public you have to have a fixed blade I think and it has to be a certain size so I'm not sure what size it is I'll paste it in here I think it might be like four inches I'm not too sure or three inch and it has to be it can't be a fixed blade it has to be a folding blade um, so that's why Obviously in other countries like the US I think you this would be able to pass and in a survival situation it would be perfect because you're always wearing it so it's always on you. So now I'm going to open this up and you can have a look at the knife itself. I have recommended it to quite a few people on my channel. You know who you are because a few of you I know have gone out and bought it and um, I'm pleased to hear that you're really happy and chuffed with the performance of this knife. So this was made by the knife maker Alan Wood. So he's an English guy and he's been making knives since 1985. So he clearly knows his stuff and it is proven from the performance of this blade. So the Castrom Safari is actually designed for hunting. It has a six centimeter stainless steel blade with a hollow grind. The Safari is a full tang blade which makes it very tough. The G10 handle is water resistant and very comfortable. It's also very low maintenance. So they were some specs on the knife itself. I'm really happy to have formed a partnership with them because their knives are absolutely amazing as well as all their other equipment. I'm really fond of that brand. There, I'm going to list the things that drew me to this knife personally. Obviously I didn't have to use it if I didn't want to, it's more of a tester and to see how I judged it up against other knives as well as the number 10 forest knife. 
that's really well rated by a lot of people and that has become my all-round bushcraft knife and I didn't think I would be swayed off the TBS brand but it has gone that way but they are both really quality brands themselves and have got a lot of good things going for them the thing that drew me to this is when I was out I always found it difficult to do like camp cooking and like kitchen jobs with the thicker knives so usually you get a knife and it's got a really thick blade like your typical bushcraft knife it's got a really thick blade it's quite long and typically it comes with the scandy grind when using this like slicing tomatoes um, vegetables it slices really well because of the thin blade when I have processed a pheasant before in the past and gutted it it's been ideal because of its super sharp blade it's really sharp it's easy to get that sharp blade back on it as well it just needs to be stropped after each use really so that's what I really liked about this this knife I also like the handle usually I go for wooden handles when I go for bushcraft knives uh, just because they got a nicer feel but this is perfect especially as it is round your neck all the time and like I said it is low maintenance you don't need to varnish the wood um, like you do with wooden handles and it is water resistant sometimes if you're out in the field for a long time and you carry a, a knife with a wooden handle it can normally dry up and tend to crack if you don't look after it so that just saves you the job when you're you've got this handle but don't get me wrong I do love wooden handles on knives another thing this knife tends not to get rusty which is perfect it's pretty light for its size so this would be quite good for a hiking or something light if you were hunting if you are a hunter and you need to process game with it and also what I found really interesting the story behind it the story behind it Alan Wood who designed and made this knife is an Englishman and it was designed for deer stalkers and someone in Scandinavia picked this knife up and thought it was perfect for processing moose so it went over there and then finally it went over and people used it um, in safaris and things and that's where it got its name so it's got a lot of background and a lot of people are big fans of these knives so I would definitely recommend this if you are thinking about purchasing a neck knife or even just a little blade for camp chores um, camp cooking and maybe you do a lot of processing game it would just be perfect in the leather sheath it comes with and this isn't the Scandi grind this is the hollow grind so it is very different and I think that's what makes it really unique above all it is a very good looking knife and it works really well with the sheath with the locking effect and that is really secure I've mentioned I've worn this a lot and it's never fallen out you can also reshape these sheaths under heat to fit the knife and give it a snug fit. Right, next I wanted to talk about another knife that I have owned in the past. I don't use it anymore, but it is an alternative to show you I have used a few different neck knives. So this knife is the Mora Eldris, and this is a great knife for its price. So this has a 90 degree spine, it's got quite a thicker blade compared to the Safari and it is quite a bit smaller as you can see so it is 59 millimeters long and it has got a 2 millimeter blade and it does have a nice handle on it it's very grippy what I found about this so it was really difficult to wear as a neck knife because it is quite bulky and I felt it didn't fit flat against your chest when you are wearing it because um, it's got quite a bulky handle but you can I think get sheaths for these which people do do it is made of 12C27 stainless steel so it's the same quality steel as the Safari and that means it is easy to keep its edge so it doesn't go dull quickly and you can regain the edge on it after stropping it a few times and it will not tarnish so it's literally just the same as the Safari which is great that they share in common this is also a Swedish brand Mora so yeah that is a lot of quality stuff does come out of Sweden when it comes to bushcraft 
you've obviously got Castrom, you've got Mora and Far Raven and many other brands that I probably don't know of. As well, as well as that it is a fixed blade and this does come in multiple colours. So yeah, that is another option for a neck knife and it also has a little ferro rod on the uh, on the piece of paracord that goes around your neck so that is a different option that you could go for as well as that Bocca do some great neck knives I think that's how you pronounce it um, and yeah they also have some nice knives that I have used in the past as well as that there are plenty of different brands on the market when it comes to designing and selling neck knives so if you none of these tickled your fancy then you can always go online before I finish, I just want to mention a quality and great knife made by such a superb and skillful woman that is on YouTube as well. And that is the one and only Survival Lily. So I'm sure everyone who is watching this has heard of Survival Lily um, or watched her videos. So I just want to mention, as we're on the topic of knives, her great knife that she's got out. And I just want to shout out her amazing knives that she has produced and sells and they are doing really well and I'm I'm super chuffed for her but I have also got one of her knives and I've been using it and I've used it in the past and it is a great all-round survival knife that I definitely put in my bug out kit so here it is the survival lily apo one and you can see that it does look like a very deadly knife and it's got a great form to it. I have done a review video on this knife in the past and put it through its paces and it performed amazingly. It is a really robust and a real hard working knife and you feel like it's not one of those knives you're going to pick up and break it. It's got a lot of features on this knife which include the full tang blade. So the blade is really strongly reinforced and it's unbreakable really. It's got a hammer system on the bottom of the knife so you can smash things. It's got a 90 degree spine on the top which is perfect for striking a ferro rod. It's got this nice strong kydex sheath that it comes with. It's got a very long and thick blade on this which also includes a thumb grip here so you can when you're making feather sticks or using it for other jobs you can really get a nice grip on the blade. So this is a real all-rounder survival knife. This can be used for batoning wood, it can be used for carving, for sh making a fire with a ferro rod and um, splitting wood. So yeah, that is the Survival Lily APO1. And if you're interested, I'll leave a link in my description and you can go check out Lily and her amazing knife. I just want to say that I'm really happy for her. It's so nice to see another woman on YouTube and doing a like-minded subject um, in a different part of the world. So we've come to the end of this video. I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching. I would really appreciate if you subscribe to this channel and feel free to put on the bell icon to check out new videos coming out. If you do own a neck knife or you're thinking about buying one then please leave it in the comments below. If you want to see more videos like this and let me know thank you so much for watching a massive shout out to all my patrons thank you so much and i hope you'll have a lovely day take care